Blinka, 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 blinka. Blinka time, blinka time. It's time for blinka. There's so yeah. much going on in Circuit Python this week. There's too much going on in the world of Python and hardware. <laughs> you don't even do much. There's so or much. Not enough. Yeah. So I'm gonna get to this Gartner thing in a bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, please do check out the latest newsletter. Go to adafruitdaily.com. We don't spam. We don't do anything like that. It's a completely separate site, and you'll be able to check out all the different things. So um, there's. Uh, New boards, uh, including the Micromod, I believe, is in there um, for the RP2040. Oh, for RP, oh, we do, yeah, we've yeah. done a whole bunch of updates. Yeah. We added like six different boards. Lots of boards, lots yeah. of corrections on boards. ESP32 um, has two boards, RP2040 consistent boards. Consistent board, uh, board.led mm -hmm. to most boards Yay. and a timing fix. So check that out. Um, also, worth noting is uh, the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect now supports CircuitPython. Thanks to Liz for doing the That's PR. Um, if you want to look at where uh, Python is, now, in addition to the regular old Python on hardware news, we have mm. kind of bigger picture Python Well, I mean, it's, news, it's, it's, it's part of a community. Python, yeah. Yeah. So um, check that out. Python is swapping positions with Java for now the second most popular language. It's kind of cool. Um, so if you're thinking about what programming language to use, look at some of the trends. Uh, later on, I'll have more information about our uh, TI interview that I think we're going to be able to do. Uh, TI is using a fork of CircuitPython, and uh, I got a hold of them, and they're going to send the questions I sent over, and I'm going to ask, okay, why did you choose Python in general, by the way, but also, you know, why do you have this cool fork of CircuitPython you're putting on your calculators? A um, little bit of a recap from the deep dive with Scott, the CircuitPython Parsec with JP, um, some of the guides and more that we've had here, and then tons and tons and tons and tons of USB related stuff. Uh, Keyboards and encoders and LEDs and buttons yeah. and circuit python. People all, are all the they're really getting into it. There's so much good example. MIDI controllers. Code. Yeah. So um, do check it out. It's at the point where there's so much news that I now pick one important thing okay. per newsletter to go yeah, over. Yeah, there's too much. Because there's too You're much. You're right, there's too much. There I, is, yeah. And that's a good sign. It's it's almost um, Okay, so what's the thing? Okay, so the thing this week is so Gartner has always been a big deal. If something's in the Gartner report, like it's like okay, this is a this is this is it, and this is their hype cycle for embedded software systems, 2020. Now this is just came out not too long ago, and if you go to the Arduino site because I got this through the newsletter, you just sign up, you put your information in, and then they give you access to the report. Um, there's a couple pieces that I thought was really neat. So previously, Python on hardware wasn't really there. In fact, it was in a different location. So um, they give them terms in here, so the <laughs> trough of disillusionment um, is where Arduino, IoT, Edge Architecture, 1M2M, and then you could see where the slope of enlightenment is, and that's it where... It actually is getting used by people. It's not like, only... Like people who can use yeah. it are using it. So not only is it getting used, but if you, if you read the little summary that's in the newsletter and also on our site, Using Python I like how, on like, hardware. like sensor fusion is like on the slope. We've been using sensor fusion for 20 years. It's in everything, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. About so this. the the interesting thing, MicroPython, CircuitPython, Python, and uh, we're we're named in this report, is it's so fast to do development that you now see it in this area of like if you want to do Bluetooth, low cost development, do prototyping really fast. It's now taking off faster than some of the previous solutions, even like mm -hmm. Arduino, which is also a very fast way to, to prototype and more. Yeah. So it's one to watch, and when like, kind of like. I mean, it's cool that it's even in this. I mean, like people are paying attention to it. Yeah. It's like what's you know on Twitter you see people snark on each other like oh the normies know about this now you know it's like when someone says oh they're you know I like that band before everyone liked them well this is kind of like that so as soon as it starts getting these syndicate research reports that means it really 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 is getting an industry a lot and that's what we're seeing but it's nice to see this report so check it out links to all that and more in the python hardware newsletter sweet thank you blinka i read the newsletter top to bottom every week it comes out